Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? It's Mark Methods. So recently, my 2015 Volkswagen Golf 1.8 liter TSI engine failed at 87,000 miles. It had catastrophic failure, so there's no compression on cylinder two. And what led up to this was about a week prior, I had an EPC light come on, which caused the turbo to no longer produce boost for the engine. At first I thought it was a limp mode, but it wasn't really acting the same. So I was basically under just full NA power, but it was very um, slow. Uh, when I was coming back from work, I turned the car off when I got home, turned it back on, and I had boost again. So I thought, hey, maybe it was just a computer fault, whatever, I didn't see any codes uh, stored or any historical stuff. Um, then uh, a week out from that, was I was driving to work. I was three minutes up the road from my house and all of a sudden the engine starts idling extremely rough. Um, this is when the catastrophic failure occurred where I lost compression in cylinder two. I didn't know that at the time because I hadn't gone through the diagnostic steps to determine this. But I drove it back home, barely, and um, saw that I had misfires on cylinders one and two. Um, so I moved the coil packs around and swapped the spark plugs around just to make sure to see if it would follow it. Just the coil packs alone, uh, I was able to see that the misfires continued on cylinders one and two. So I thought the plugs might be fouled. So I moved the plugs over still cylinders one and two. When I pulled the spark plug out of cylinder two, however, I did notice that the plug was wet with fuel which means that there was no, uh, it was lacking compression because it wasn't able to actually combust that fuel. Um, unfortunately, I didn't record the compression test. Um, if I still had the uh, flywheel and a starter, I could probably do it right here, but um, I don't have one right now. The car, when we bought it, my wife and I bought it, um, had 34,000 miles on it. It was a Volkswagen certified pre-owned vehicle. The car had no issues up until uh, 64,000 miles when uh, a coolant link sprung um, right around the upper half of the motor by the timing cover. It was misdiagnosed by the first dealership, uh, which I worked with Volkswagen of America, to pay for about half of these repairs initially, um, seeing as that I was only 4,000 miles outside of the certified pre-owned warranty. First dealer replaced the water pump, saying that's where the leak was coming from. It wasn't leaking out of the water pump. This, the leak continued. Um, it was actually the timing cover. Uh, it was actually the oil filler um, seal, and that's what was leaking. So, after five hundred fifty dollars, even with Volkswagen's assistance, uh, the coolant leak was resolved at sixty four thousand miles. However, at eighty seven thousand miles, um, the engine fully failed, uh, which is unfortunate. And that ended up costing 3,550 um, bucks for a junkyard motor and getting it installed by a dealership. Now, if I had time, I would have done that myself and saved probably $2,000 or more, which I probably should have just taken the time to do it and just taken time off from work. But um, fortunately I didn't and uh, kind of kicking myself for that because that's delaying the built motor for the BRZ. It's delaying me going out drifting, things like that. But hey, Things happen and uh, it's all right. So after I got the engine swapped out, however, we decided to trade it in for a new vehicle, which uh, I'll, I'll do a reveal and a review on. Uh, it's the car my wife is now driving. Um, I'm still driving the 2013 Prius C. It's a great car. So I reached out to Volkswagen America over the engine failing at 87,000 miles and they refused to assist as the powertrain warranty ended at 60,000 miles stating that I was 27,000 miles outside of warranty. And um, I thought that was kind of uh, a cop out. I mean, I get that they have a warranty, things like that, but it's usually you put a little bit of leeway, especially like I've owned a few Volkswagens at this point. I owned a um, 2010 TDI, which was bought back under the Dieselgate scandal. Um, my wife has owned multiple vehicles. I uh, multiple Volkswagens. I, I've owned a 2001 GTI, um, 
She's had a few TDIs as well. Um, overall, Volkswagens have been decent vehicles uh, up until this one. So could be a fluke. Um, personally, I don't plan on buying any additional Volkswagens uh, just to, due to the customer service and the way that they treated the situation. Um, it's unfortunate, but maybe something will change my mind in the future. But for now, I'm very disappointed in their product and the quality of the product. I understand that I bought a certified pre-owned vehicle, but it was maintained. I did all the maintenance intervals on schedule and to have the engine fail at such an, a premature point of its life, it's pretty, um, it's pretty bad. So something to think about if you have a launch edition 2015 Volkswagen Golf. Some of these uh, issues may arise. Recently uh, hit 100 subscribers, which is awesome, guys. Really appreciate it. Um, hopefully I can keep producing videos at a more consistent rate. I know that this one's pushed out a bit um, just due to life and things like that. Um, I really do try to put out content as often as I can. Just had a lot of, a lot of stuff happen in life. If you like this video guys, like, comment, subscribe, really appreciate it. Every little bit helps and I'll see you in the next one.